like it's maybe a bit complicated. Because uh, it's a very different country. No. Coming back to the factor on our uh, feasibility at the moment, um, uh, and I'm hearing some good stuff, Feel, feeling more possible. Coming back to the basis, what are we doing in the next two weeks that'll get us to this table that says, yeah, and this is exactly. Well, are you going to write? Are you, you going to write that up? But yeah. I can build a team around that, and even for this summer. Um, yeah, it's got to be this many people for this long. This is how, and Sean will tell us how much it's going to roughly cost. Yeah. This is how much design, how much time we use in Guillaume, Romara, Tim, the whole bag of tricks. You know, I, I don't feel like I can sit in here and say, well, 100% go and get that record on that day in that window. So I think, I just hope everyone's realistic that, you know, we're probably the best team ever in the world to, to have a, a good shot at doing that. But statistically, I think it's it's not guaranteed. Yeah, exactly. You know? And, you know, just for the record, I want to win the America's Cup again as well, Dolph. So it's not, oh, I haven't forgotten about it. Don't worry about that. But it's, um, this is this is a nice, a nice little one to hopefully spot in there and, yeah, be able to tell our grandkids about. Growing up in Bendigo in, in central Victoria in Australia, you know, I used to love mucking around with land yachts and uh, building things uh, as a kid. This has really been a long-term dream of mine since I was a, a little kid. The fire has been fueled to really put together, um, you know, a, a proper package to, to actually go and have a go at it being really, really fast um, on land with a wind-powered craft. I think it might have taken Richard Jenkins, who's the current record holder, nearly 10 years to, to break the previous record. And um, it's not an easy feat. It's something that's a very, very difficult challenge. Wow! Amazing! We are very tight with our production, really tight. Well, we know that we're guaranteed this way to build you the best part, and that's where we're at. We don't have time to you know, review another process. Composite capsule that Lenny's in better survive a crash. So we made, I made two, two new refined FEA models to make sure we don't buckle or break in the, uh, in the cockpit or somewhere else. But, uh, we are very happy, yeah. So, yeah. so this is for the work of, you know, double, triple checking the stuff. We do it ourselves and then we, we, add, we, we ask double and triple checks on time. This is the safest thing I'll ever start in my life. So <laughs> We've gone from the design table, things actually happening from the production side of things. So the main vehicle body is now under construction. This craft is going to be such that momentum is going to be our friend and weight helps with momentum. So older techniques here, a bit more of the wet laminate as opposed to a lot of the pre prep which we use with our uh, custom uh, America's Cup class yachts, but it's really good to see you know some resin and uh, carbon starting to go on the tools. It's a really useful project to keep the design team going on, on innovative ideas as well as the production side. While we've, we've got the wing in the air and there's a lot of similarities to a yacht, trying to keep the wheels on the ground, keep them gripping well, keep the rolling resistance really low, those are the real challenges for us. So little information out there about how well tyres grip on salt and the behaviour of them. I don't have a huge amount of knowledge in some of these areas, so yeah, there's a lot of research involved. We see our job as showing the world we, we can move without energy, without energy that is fossil or, or electric or whatever. Just think of driving your car on the motorway uh, 205, it doesn't look much, okay? It's, maybe it's okay, you know? Many of us did maybe to try, but think that you have a 10 meter wing on top of your roof. It would be really interesting to do it where salt desert, like more or less where they did Mad Max. It's, it's, it's a very fun project to be honest. It fastest. The first time I think that you shake the wing on on a salt lake in a craft that you've sort of been involved with, you know, the sort of design and build of. I think for the whole team will be extremely exciting and um, there'll be a lot of sort of unknowns that we'll have to learn and then tick off but um, I think that feeling of you know doing in excess of 200 kilometres an hour um, in a 
purely wind-powered craft. You know, we've got some extremely clever guys behind the scenes. Ultimately, all be involved in, in achieving hopefully something that um, no one else in the world has ever been able to do before.